Selecting CO2 settings. CO2 PPM setting. To select the CO2 PPM set point, press the PPM setting button. The current setting will be displayed. Use the up and down arrow buttons to adjust the setting. Press enter reset to accept the new setting. CO2 deadband. To select the CO2 deadband set point, press the deadband button under CO2. Use the up and down arrow buttons to adjust the setting. Press enter reset to accept the new setting. Calibrating the CO2 sensor. Place the controller and sensor outdoors in a shaded area. Avoid placing it near people or other sources of CO2 emission. If the unit is calibrated in a high traffic or high populated area, a slightly higher calibration value of 400 to 475 ppm is recommended. Plug in the controller and allow it to warm up for a minimum of 30 minutes, but one hour or more is recommended for optimal calibration. Press the calibrate sensor button to activate automatic calibration. Do not breathe on the unit while the calibration function is activated. Press enter reset to start the calibration sequence. CO2 cal will be displayed and the calibrate sensor LED will blink link. Calibration will take about 10 minutes. When it is complete, the screen will display normal functions. Calibration will not affect any of the other settings. Locking temperature humidity functions. The temperature and humidity functions may be set to operate locked, connect, or split, split. Press temp humidity lock to display the current setting. Use the up and down arrow buttons to select a new setting. Press enter reset to accept the new setting. Select connect if using only ventilating fans for cooling and removing humidity. The fan will turn on when the sensor detects an increase above the set point in either humidity or temperature. Select split if using a ventilating fan or AC unit for cooling and a dehumidifier for removing humidity. The cooling device will turn on when the temperature rises above the set point and the dehumidifier will turn on when the humidity rises above the set point. Also use split if using a fan or AC unit for cooling and a humidifier for adding humidity. The cooling device will turn on when the temperature rises above the set point and the humidifier will turn on when the humidity drops below the set point. Locking temperature CO2 functions. The temperature and CO2 functions may be set to operate locked, connect, or split, split. Press temp CO2 lock to display the current settings. Use the up and down arrow buttons to select a new setting. Hold enter reset for three seconds to accept the new setting. Select connect if using ventilating fans for cooling and a compressed CO2 setup. The CO2 will be activated when the fans are activated, allowing the fans to exchange air while minimizing loss of CO2. Also use connect if you are using a recycling air conditioner and a CO2 generator. The CO2 generator will be deactivated while the air conditioner is operating to reduce the amount of heat the air conditioner must offset. Select split if you are using a recycling air conditioner for cooling and a compressed CO2 setup. The air conditioner and compressed CO2 will be activated independently. Also select split if you are using ventilating fans for cooling and a CO2 generator. The ventilation fans and CO2 generator will be activated independently. Displaying recorded values. Press the min max recall button to display the minimum and maximum recorded values for temperature, humidity, and CO2 level. Press the button repeatedly to cycle through the values in the following order. Max temperature, min temperature, min humidity, max humidity, min CO2, max CO2. Press enter reset to reset a displayed value. Fuzzy logic mode. Fuzzy logic mode counters rising for falling CO2 levels by quickly activating the CO2 solenoid valve, allowing CO2 levels to be controlled more precisely. This function can be used only with compressed CO2. Do not use fuzzy logic with a CO2 generator. Hold enter reset for 5 seconds to activate or deactivate fuzzy logic mode. Use the up and down arrow buttons to choose between fuzzy logic mode if using compressed CO2 and generator mode if using a CO2 generator. Press enter reset to accept the new setting. Thank you for watching. Go to blueprintcontrollers.com for more information.